Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna continue the local fish not crawl of Melbourne and head on down to Lifestyle Aquarium in Bandura. All right guys, thank you for joining me in another episode of Parker's Reefs. And yes, I am still allowed out and about and we are gonna hit up even more local fish shops and some coral wholesalers also coming in the next few episodes. So there's a whole heap of content to look out for in the next few weeks here on Parker's Reefs. But today's episode, we're gonna visit Al and the team, an absolutely friendly bunch of guys, really got along with them all very, very well, out at Lifestyle Aquarium in Bandura. And let me tell you, these guys have got a huge assortment of both freshwater, marine, fish, corals, dry goods, they've got the lot there. So uh, let's roll the footage so I can share it with you all at home. All right, here we are, Lifestyle Aquarium and Reptiles. You've got the van out the front, which has got all of the address and phone number details. Over to the side here, we've got a bit of a description of the items they carry. And of course, you're open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, the moment you walk in this store, you are confronted with this beautiful Red Sea Max tank. This guy's been running for a number of years now, and um, it's just a soft coral and LPS coral haven in there. Huge leather coral in the middle there. We've got some beautiful deshies down the bottom there. I love that bright orange slash yellow fungia. Got some purple, uh, sorry, some yellow tangs in there, some uh, elegance corals, blue tangs, clownfish, your absolute trademark marine fish. Heading over to another display tank here. This one is an absolute haven of bubble tips. The clownfish in here are living their best life. There's also some uh, disco morphers in there as well as a huge assortment of recordia, including one in a little uh, recordia hotel there, trying to get attached onto a piece of rock, no doubt. Some beautiful uh, recordia humors in there. Now, if those Red Sea tanks have uh, wet your whistle, check out this big boy here. This is one of the uh, Red Sea Reefer series. I think this one could be the double X or triple XL. It's a big boy, huge aquarium. It's got their uh, trademark cabinet with their uh, sump system underneath it. It's a ready to go system, has everything you need. And uh, if you wanted to check those systems out in person before purchasing, this is the place to go because Al and the team there can run you through all of the details on those tanks. Now, this system in the front here is the first of many coral systems to come. You can see we've got uh, what they're calling medium sized colonies up the top there for $65 Australian. I'd say they're pretty large to be honest, but um, let's go with medium. And then the pieces on the lower frag rack down here are $50 each. Huge assortment of corals in here, mostly talking SBS uh, colonies and uh, frags. We've got some chalice there. Looks like that chalice has been growing for a while. You can see he's growing onto the frag rack in there. But um, a good assortment of pieces in here. We've got a big, healthy looking Soho tank there swimming around, making sure uh, no one puts their hands in that tank, probably because I reckon he'd uh, give them a little tail slap. But uh, we've got another display tank here, and uh, this one's an absolute stunner. Check out uh, some of the LPS and the SPS in here. And not to mention, What's got to be the largest clam I reckon I've seen in an aquarium outside of that one that was in the Triton display system a few years ago. What a massive maxima that is. And uh, check out that huge glittergony there, just a uh, loving life. You've got a beautiful red and a green to go with it. Got some digis and some acroporas in there, some monties. I can see uh, some lobos there. Scully mounted up nice and high, but... Um, Holy hell, have a look at that clam. What a beast. I hope that uh, yellow tang doesn't get too close to it. He might get swallowed by it. I'm sure he won't, but whew, that's a big clam. Got some really nice assortment of uh, Acropora growing out here. Nice uh, little blaster colony down the bottom as well. But uh, let's move on to the other side of this uh, coral tank where we've got uh, some more uh, SBS uh, frags and colonies in there. Um, some really nice color on them. We're talking, these are the large ones at $85 Australian each. And uh, yeah, they're a large piece. You could quite comfortably cut that into uh, four, maybe even five or six pieces with your buddies and all still end up with what I'd call a nice little mini colony. Now, if we have a look here, we've got a nice bit of Cephastria. Uh, what else can I see there? We've got uh, some more chalice. Looks like uh, some lepto. Good assortment of uh, acros. Down underneath here, you can see the Cove Calcium Reactor keeping this system well topped up with all of its supplements. But uh, let's roll on into the uh, wet room itself and check out all of the fish and corals in here. All right, into the first system here. I can see we've got a, a nice little school of blue-green chromis. Looks like a little uh, bristle tooth tang there as well. 
Um, got a nice uh, MP40, I think, on the end there, keeping some flow in the system. But uh, moving on to the second system here, we've got some uh, blue-eyed cardinals in there, uh, some nice assortment of some uh, Oki clownfish, some really nice uh, yellow-tipped bubble tips. But uh, it's this blue carpet that's got my attention here. This little guy at the front, he's a nice small size. Now, I will admit, it's not the brightest blue I've ever seen in my life, but uh, I have no doubt he could color up and... Uh, what an awesome little piece. You can see there's no shortage of blue on it there. I reckon with a bit of uh, amino and some vitamins and some good feeding, he's going to color up into an absolute gem. Moving on to the next system there, we can see we've got uh, some fire gobies, some mist bar clowns, another little uh, bristle tooth tang, collector urchin in there, but uh, let's roll on onto the coral systems. We've got some big deshies, I can see some trackies, some really nice uh, torches there, green tip, yellow tip. Uh, some little uh, Lobos, we've got um, some trackies, some A-cans there. You see all the paint prices of these pieces along the front of the glass there, and you can see they're beautiful, colorful, healthy, happy pieces. Man, that was a bit of a tongue twister, but they are. We've got some really nice A-can frags here, uh, some Zoa frags there, coming up at a very affordable price, talking 30 bucks a frag for some uh, really nice colors of Zoas there. There's even some $5 pieces there if you're looking for some cheap fill-out corals. Check out that uh, little uh, Cynaria in there, an absolutely gorgeous coloration, and then uh, some Beautiful pieces there in the corner, just at 50 bucks a piece. Over here, we've got some star polyps at $15 each. We've got some really nice bright chalice. And then if we have a little look down here, you can check out these frags, absolutely glowing. 50 bucks a piece or a two for 90. Got some Samacora, you got some uh, Chalice, you got some Sufastrias in there. See some uh, nice bright Scullies, see some Goni and Elviopora frags. And then we move into a section here, we've got some Blasto, Rhodactus, Fungias, some Gonies, some Acans, some Singular Hammer and Torch Heads. A good assortment of uh, wild Gonies there. Uh, some more pieces, see some Montes, some Zoa Rocks. Huge assortment of corals. Heading on over here, we've got uh, some really nice bright red goni frags. Really nice looking uh, frog spawn in there and uh, a huge frog spawn at the back. Some hammers, uh, some various, uh, check, yeah, check out those frog spawns back there. They're a beast. And uh, check out this little piece here that's just casually hanging out on the uh, coral system. It is one of the uh, World's or the Holy Grail of fish traps from uh, uh, Tank Mates. This is one of those ones you've probably seen the videos of. The fish go inside it and uh, you release the uh, magnet. I believe they do it hydraulically now and it floats to the top with your fish caught in it. But um, pretty cool little piece. Moving on to the corals though, we've got a huge assortment of hammers here at $110 each. All sorts of different colors. We've got a fox face in the back there acting like I'm going to kill the poor guy. A yellow tang, powder blue tang in there, some nice hammers. I quite like that one there. And uh, yeah, this one here's got some nice sort of rainbow modeling going on to it. Beautiful pieces. And then this system up the end here is traditionally, I know, a lifestyle where they keep their ultra pieces. And you can see why we've got some crazy hammers and some gonies here, all of the colors of the rainbow. And then we move on to this section here of just some absolutely stunning yellow tip elegance corals, talking $180 each there for those big, big pieces, which, um, you can't argue with that. This system here is lit up by a Kessel AP700. The rest, I think, along the system are lit up by Kessels as well, but uh, the A360 variety. The team also have a huge assortment of freshwater fish here. Now, I'm probably not gonna go into all of them. I will show you a couple of my highlights a little later on, but uh, let's scoot around the corner and I'll check out the uh, rest of their coral and fish systems. Got another little uh, display tank here. This one's got uh, some anemones in it, uh, some star polyps and a beautiful platinum clownfish in there. You can see uh, some nice uh, more frags down the bottom there. What a beautiful little system, particularly with that clown just uh, chilling out in the bubble tip there. But um, let's have a look at the uh, range of marine fishing at the moment here. Beautiful uh, mimic tang there. You can see some, uh, looks like we've got some uh, damsels in there, little Valentini puffer. Oh, just behind that rock is the cutest little uh, sailfin tang. He's um, not gonna come out for the camera, unfortunately, but uh, the mimic is, that's the way things go. Got some gorgeous uh, Fiji fox face here. I love the uh, contrast of their colors. Gold spot rabbit there is absolutely gorgeous. Scopaz tang, um, some more of the uh, Fiji fox face. Beautiful fish, really do like them. Uh, over into this system, we've got some yellow tail damsels. This guy here, gorgeous pink tail trigger. Such, uh, such angry little blighters, but uh, 
I don't know why you'd be so angry. You've got a beautiful pink tipped tail. But um, over here, we've got uh, the live rock tank, which is nicely lit up and uh, well accessible so you can see exactly the rock available. We've got some standard fox face here that are absolutely gigantic. A gorgeous Sohole tang back there. And it looks like another bristle tooth tang, I think. A huge variety. So you've got some big boys in that system there. Over here, we've got a little uh, Niger trigger, I believe it is. And uh, this huge uh, lionfish here is just... Uh, Giving me that, um, what you talking about, Willis, look as um, he's looking at the camera. Not too pleased with me at all, but um, that's a pretty good assortment of fish there. I do just want to give you a quick little overview of some of the freshwater fish that are in at the moment. We've got um, a uh, Saratoga here, which is basically the Australian arowana. Such a uh, huge presence of these fish. They're absolute beasts and um, real, real characters. Right next to him, we've got uh, probably one of the world's largest bristle nose. Well, I'm sure it's not, but for me, a marine guy, it's a huge bristle nose. Over here, we've got this absolutely gorgeous flower horn. Um, he's got that huge bulbous bump on his head, which um, I'm led to believe is very desirable in the uh, flower horn industry. And then uh, just to wrap up the freshwater fish, a couple of discus here, which I cannot help but think that um, if these were marine fish, I hate to think how much they would cost. You've got that bright, solid red discus, and then you've got that red and white candy stripe discus that are just absolutely ridiculous. I think if they were marine fish, they'd be around the 10, 20, $25,000 mark. Have a look at him there. Reminds me of a peppermint angel. But enough of the freshwater stuff. Let's carry on to the uh, dry goods. You can see we're back out in the front room here. And um, if we go over to the side away from the uh, coral system there, you can see this huge assortment of dry goods here. And then the team carry a huge range of brands for all of your freshwater and marine water requirements from auto feeders to little power filters. Um, let's see what else we can find here. They've got a uh, good assortment of the Aqua One range of uh, air stones. We've got some Eheim heaters. We've got plenty of T5 and T8 bulbs to fix from, uh, pick from. Filter media, you've got um, across here, we've got a good, a huge assortment actually of Aqua One spare parts, including their coral feeders and some uh, tongs. I am going to pick up both the uh, Aqua One large and medium sized tongs because I cannot find them anywhere. Thank you, Lifestyle, for carrying those in stock. Got a good assortment of Aqua Forest Red Sea. We've got uh, the Red Sea skimmers up there in a couple of different sizes, as well as their full uh, program, of course, of all of their trace and uh, uh, maintenance programs. Got their carbon, their uh, filter socks, their test kits. Uh, everything Red Sea is covered at these guys here, including, yep, some more of their skimmers. You see we've got a frozen food there at the counter. Um, let's see what else we can find here. You've got a good aquaforest assortment here. Their test kits, their supplements, their liquid foods that I'm a huge fan of. Their salts, their stone fix, all of their products there. I do love that we've got on the counter here some uh, Coral Creatures Fido. We've got this beautiful Fluval Flex, I believe it is, a marine system here with some uh, pre-built scape there, just showcasing how you can have a very quick and easy, simple marine system. Doesn't always have to be a dream reef tank, but check out the huge assortment of dry goods behind the counter there from uh, lights to uh, medications to pumps, you name it, the team here have it. And there's some more down these aisles here, but I did just want to quickly showcase before we go here, the huge assortment of tanks the team have here ready to go. And I do think that's really important in this hobby that you can head in, have a look at the different tank options that are available to help you decide. Even if you wanted to go for something like this, the uh, freshwater planted system that always seems to catch my eye, the team here at Lifestyle Aquarium can help. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the tour of Lifestyle Aquarium in Bandura. What an awesome shop. Got a great range of variety of things there. Some really good competitive pricing too. So I'm looking forward to the next time I get to visit Al and the team out there. And um, I'm also hoping that I might be able to check out the owner, Al, his personal fish tank at home. He did mention when I was there that I need to come and do a little video of his tank at home, which um, sounded pretty special. So uh, Al, Hook us up, man. I gotta come check out this tank of yours. I'd love to bring that to all of the viewers right here on Parker's Reefs. Anyway, guys, I will wrap things up there. If you've got any questions, comments, feedback from myself or the team at Lifestyle Aquariums, be sure to pop it in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And last but not least, if you're yet to subscribe, please consider doing so. It takes two seconds of your time, costs no money at all, and it'll ensure you will not miss any of our upcoming store tours, wholesale tours, or maybe even Elle's personal tank tour. You never know. Anyway, guys i'll leave it at that thank you so much for watching till next time stay safe keep reefing